said we just got to make sure we finish strong at the end of the day. Um, it's still unfortunate that you lose a game, another tight game again. You know, all you can do right now is just look forward to these next couple games and try to finish strong as you can. Uh, short week, so we know we got to get, you know, get back moving um, immediately. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can place ourselves in a good position at the end of the season. Finish strong is the message from Coach, but yeah. it seemed like you guys really finished half strong. Yeah. It was kind of the starts I have yeah. for the defense. Yeah. What did you see in that, in terms of that? I think just, you know, for us, you know, as we started kind of figuring out how they were going and how they were moving, um, you know, I think, you know, we started getting on a roll, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you always want to, like I said, start fast and, uh, you know, not give them an opportunity to be able to win games. And, uh, you know, anytime we can hold offenses to, you know, at least 21 and, uh, or lower or even 14 or lower, you know, that'll at least get an offense a chance to win games. So um, I think defensively, we just got to continue to just move forward and in the direction that we're moving, continue to keep uh, getting create, uh, turnovers and, uh, you know, doing little things like that in order to uh, keep offenses off the field. So. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. It's the NFL. It comes down to one yeah. place so often, but it's been heartbreaking a lot of different ways for you guys this year. How, how do you describe this season? Yeah, man, this is kind of one of the first situations I've been in where, you know, it's every game is close. You lose every game that's close. So, um, you know, it just kind of it, it gives you a good feeling of knowing that, you know, there's still some fight. There's still um, opportunities to be able to win games. It's just finding that whatever that is in order to finish games, in order to win games. So. Um, like I said, man, we just got to make sure we finish these next three games, man, uh, and, and hopefully we can place ourselves in a good position. Last question for you, Rashawn, is uh, Coach Pease, we saw what happened yeah. in pregame. What did you see? What were you guys told? And, and he's doing well, it sounds yeah, okay, like, good. but yeah, but yeah. just, uh, yeah, what, what was that like for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always a big blow whenever your defensive coordinator goes down. And, um, you know, my prayers go up to him as well. Um, you know, a guy that, you know, we depend on as a defense, you know, to make the calls and put us in good positions. And I still think Frank Bush did a hell of a job as far as, uh, you know, um, moving in his place. Um, I think just overall, man, um, you know, Dean is, you know, he's, he's at the age right now, you know, uh, to be able to, you know, do the things that he's doing at a high level. You know, it, it always hurts, man, to be able to have a guy like that go down. So, you know, I'm still going to be able to uh, pray for him. You know, hopefully he has good health, you know, and hopefully we'll be able to use him for the next game. Uh, I don't. I don't think they went good at mm -hmm. the end of the game, you know. Mm -hmm. We were trying to get W's and mm -hmm. obviously that's not something that happened and part of my play was the reason of it. So mm -hmm. obviously I'm not happy at all about it. Mm -hmm. what, happened, what happened on the play yeah. on that last play for you? He poked out a fumble. Okay. What how did you play things when you guys went to I think they do I think they went great for the circumstances he was put in. I mean the connection between the two of you. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that was there today or I mean, it's our, first, it's our first actual game in there, you know, so we can't really. We'll go back and watch the film. We'll figure it out. And were you playing that? Because it looked like you, you know, you knew, you know, something had to happen bad, and you kind of took some time before you got up. Just work yourself through that fumble there. Oh, uh, oh yeah. yeah I mean, you could tell. I'm not gonna be all happy about that. I just mm -hmm. sold the game. Um, it's hard. I'm a competitive person, and mm -hmm. for me to let the team down and, and and let the fans down, it just sucks. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to sit here and be all smiles and shit about it, but mm -hmm. it, it's a hard one to swallow, a hard pill to swallow. All right, thanks. Drake, the, the, you know, it, it so often comes down to one play and, and across the NFL. There's been a lot of turnovers on the offense late in games. Just what, what's happened, you know, to lead to turnovers in the last two minutes in this last six games? Um, you know, I, I honestly couldn't give you the answer to that. I could give you the answer to mine. Mm -hmm. um, my end of the game plays that haven't been so bright. Uh, I just got to be better situational, um, understanding where we're at on the field, uh, having good ball security. That's it. It's not, I've never caught a pass. 99.99 percent of people haven't, so I'm not being critical. But what is what was the thing that should have happened? Is it tucking it away? Is it you know carrying a different arm? Like what when you look back on that, what's the I should have done blank? Um, I don't know. It's all still going through my head right now. I got to go back and watch film and figure that out. Still three games to go, still you know in it, but what's what's the message from Coach? What do you guys take forward in these final few? Just grow and build as much as we possibly can. And what was it like to you know see Desmond out there, um, the, the connection you guys had, the one-handed catch, converting some third downs, what was that like for you? It was great. It was really, really cool to see. Um, it was just dope to see him out there and, and playing football again. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Um, it didn't go the way we wanted it to go. You know, prepared the right way throughout the week, just didn't uh, execute the game plan. They were able to start both halves pretty strong. They started with a couple touchdowns in the first half. They scored to start the second half. How were they able to kind of get off to fast starts? Um, we just we just didn't um, get on and get off the field. Uh, we didn't keep a steady drive going in you know the first series. But um, those are just things that we just gotta you know 
continue to strive for and get corrected, just, you know, start fast and uh, finish the game strong. Flip side of things, they were able to start those, you know, start fast, but from there, was it adjustments you guys made to be so effective to string together some stops? Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a four-quarter game. We, you know, we pride ourselves on finishing games and uh, not becoming complacent, even though things don't go our way. Um, and, you know, we just, you know, strive to get things done, come in uh, halftime, make changes and get things together, tightened up, and just go out there and execute. A little different from the game, but what you see before the game with Coach Pease, with that situation, what did they tell you guys? I mean, it's good news that he's doing well, he got out of the hospital, but what did they tell you guys? What was that like? Right, glad he okay, for sure, you know. Um, it, was, it was as soon as we ran out on the field, um, there was a lot of questioning. We didn't really know, you know, who was down, but once they told us who it was, you know, it, it hit everybody. You know, it definitely took a toll on everybody. But um, in a situation like that with a game, we just had to try to block it out and, um, you know, start fast. You know, we were just trying to make sure we just hold it down still by Coach Pease. You know, he expected us to still do what we're supposed to do. And um, that's just what we what we continue to do um, during the game. Heard from other guys, you know, compliments for Coach Butch, how he handled yeah. things. But do you think not having Coach Pete, does it affect communication? Does it affect things for you guys at all? No, no, no. Yeah, like you said, also um, with, with uh, Coach Butch coming in, stepping in right away, you really couldn't tell it was a, a drop off. You know, he was confident in what he was calling, making sure he had us in the right position. Um, you know, we just had to make more plays than what we did. Last thing, man, it's, you know, it's been some gut punches this year. How, how do you guys absorb those? How do you guys not get down with still three games to play? Um, the one and no mentality, you know, just moving forward to the next game. Now we can do with this one other than, you know, watch the film, make the corrections, and uh, just bounce back next week. Start off no, it was good. I think um, there's a big momentum swing, big momentum swing, and then uh, just getting our offense into the scoring, scoring position, then we ended up doing that. When coach said, hey, he's a guy that uh, the defenders don't want to keep trying to tackle as the game goes on. Did you sense that today? Oh, no, for sure. Um, but I think not just me, but the O-line. O-line receivers are blocking their tails off. And I think um, that's what really uh, sprung the runs, sprung my runs, sprung CP's runs, and all of the all the other receivers that ended up touching the bottom. Right? In the touchdown run, what broke clear for you on that? And then on the conversion, where it looked like you bounced it out outside there. Oh, yeah, we just needed a score. You know, I think um, in the huddle, everyone just had that mindset, and we ended up, we ended up doing it and um, getting the team in a good position to have a chance at the end. What did you learn about Desmond? Uh, you actually saw him under game conditions. Oh, no, it was good. It was good. I, think, um, I think the whole team really really um, had a lot of confidence in him and then coming into it. And then, um, yeah, shoot, I just have a lot of confidence. I, mean, I, I have confidence in him, you know, there's a lot of me for me to learn as well. So, you know, just uh, get, in the, get in the room tomorrow, you know, watch the film and then get better the next week. Did you get a sense, is anything sense, did anything feel different with him in the huddle versus the last 13 months? Um, I think uh, he had a lot of confidence. He had a lot of confidence. Obviously, like quarterbacks got to have, like the leaders on the offense, you know, I think um, they all got to have the, the amount of confidence coming into the huddle and uh, that leadership that he, that he showed, you know, came in in the meet in the uh, halftime room, just like, hey, you know, like, we got you guys, we got you guys and all that. So, you know, I think uh, everyone felt that. And then, shoot, we're this close, you know, towards the end, towards the end of the, end of the game. But lost by three points, you know, we're this close. But, um, you know, we'll just learn from it and uh, hopefully get Baltimore next week. Who told you that, guys? What about I guess I'm here. So, did you notice the difference between Desmond being in there and others too? Other than like the actual physical human? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't know. No, no I guess not. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, no, I just feel uh, not just a lot of leadership, a lot of leadership from between both of them. So. The, uh, the offensive linemen in this uh, post game said that they like blocking. You know. Like, what does it mean to you? Oh, no, shoot. You know, that's, that's the big boys, man. That's the big gents. That's what I call them in the huddle and stuff. But, um, you know, it's just always a pleasure running behind the O-line. You know, they don't get a lot of credit. But they, they work in the trenches. They do all the dirty work. You know, make uh, me and CP, like, just do what we do. But, you know, we uh, always try to make them right, and then we bought out today. Do you feel more comfortable, more confident as the season has gone on? And if so, why do you think that is? Oh, hands down. I think just reps. Just mm -hmm. rep coming, like, coming in, but... Enacted, enacted the first week and then um, ended up playing, getting reps, getting reps. I think just uh, practice reps and all that stuff and shoot, just getting, I think just getting more comfortable, you know, getting the speed down and all that, but um, still got stuff to learn, you know, put it on me as well. So should be good. Has input 
Has any part of what you've done this season surprised you? Um, like what? I mean, just what you productive what, from a production standpoint, from a playing time standpoint. Um, I think I won't say surprise because, like. Even coming in, just always tried to have the mindset of, oh, I'm going to be the starter. So just having that mindset and then um, just having that goal to be all around back as well. That's the full goal, you know, staying in on first, second, and third down, even on fourth down as well. So, you know, I think, um, I think that's my goal that I'm still trying to strive to do. But um, that should be good. We just, uh, I, I, I think there's belief in what we're doing okay. on offense and um, everything's going to come together. In the, but but our job, especially up front, is to just to keep straining in the run game, to keep communicating, and then in the pass game, allow those guys the time to have the opportunity to make those plays, and they're doing a great job. Um, and we just got to keep getting better for them uh, week in and week out, just to give them opportunities to make plays. How do you feel like Desmond did today? I mean, awesome. I mean, he's a rookie and he did a great job. I mean, the communication as an offensive lineman, you know. Everything you expect from a quarterback, he did a great job of. You know, came into the huddle, was uh, confident, was clear in his communication, and then we got up to the ball. We could hear him operationally. It was great. I don't think we were. I mean, we can check, but I, I don't think we were pressed on the shot clock very often. Um, and that's a testament to him and what he was doing, and then in the staff. So he he really did a great job and everything we could ask for. How did he handle the the good moments and the bad out there today? I mean, he's a competitor, and he has just great confidence in himself and confidence in what we're doing. Um, and I think something that he does great is he doesn't ride the emotions of, of things. You know, it didn't start out the greatest. Um, and the situation of the, you know, the moment, it being critical moments, you know, he's not different than he was the drive before. He communic everybody in the huddle knows how important that situation is, important what it means. Um, but he's steady, and I think he did a great job in that. And providing those communications of, you know, if you get in a stressful situation, it's really easy to let the fundamentals go out the window. And uh, he did a great job, great job locking in and communicating with everybody. These last six have felt so familiar from the outside, looked so familiar from the outside. Does it feel that way at all? I mean, just feel like you're grinding and grinding and grinding and then mm -hmm. almost. Uh, you know, we need to find ways to win these games. And we know that everybody in this locker room knows that. And this is not the position where we want to be. but. The, all we can do is come to work, and um, I think that's the great culture of here. There's no quit in this team. There's no, um, there's nobody's having a bad attitude, and I think you guys see that. You guys are around every day, and uh, the way we come to work every single week, and just our mentality is eventually it's going to break, and we know we got to just keep keep working at it, um, and we, we got to win these these tight games. What are these last three games about for you guys? I mean, I, I guess mathematically, I haven't looked. I mean, mathematically, the playoffs are still in in. The picture, but mm -hmm. it's a small picture. Right. So what do you do? How do you handle it? I think you just focus in the moment. And um, we got three weeks, and we, you know we put all this effort in through you know many many months of work for three weeks, um, and it's really the final stretch, heading in. And if there's a chance of the playoffs, it's it's all what we're working towards. And but really now, our focus has got to shift to Baltimore and doing everything we can to win this week and going out there and on the road in a hard environment. Uh, into win, and that's all you can do in the NFL. Is you can't overlook anything. You can't, you know, you can have big picture and talk it, but you know, you have to be really focused in on the moment. And I think uh, this team is is doing that. Yeah. No how, how do you how do you keep from letting these kind of cut gut punches though get you down? Um, I, I think it just falls on the identity of the team and um, the belief we have in each other, the belief in what the staff. Um, wants from us, but also what we're trying to accomplish, and everybody's working for the same goal. And so there's there's no internal fighting, there's no there's no quit in anything that we do. Um, guys are really just coming in, working, and we know we need to win these games. We know we need to be better. But in terms of the mindset, I mean, guys are guys are really working hard. What's uh, what's Desmond like on the sideline in terms of kind of like what you were just saying, staying up? I saw in our video him coming over to the offensive line between drives, talking to you guys, hitting you on the shoulder pads. What was he like in that in that part of the game? Uh, he's steady in the moment, you know, and uh, it's a testament to him. He doesn't ride the roller coaster, or you know, there's a ton of analogies for it, but uh, of of the emotions of the games, the highs and the lows. He's he stayed consistent and did a great job communicating. And so the same thing for an offensive line, good play, bad play. You got to stay in the moment, knowing that the next play is. Uh, everything and he did a great job with that and really great job communicating with us and uh, 
it was it was a really good job by him. Last thing for you, Chris, is in these last five losses, you guys have a turnover in the final two minutes and 30 seconds. Is there a, a common string there, a common thread there, or, or just how frustrating have those been? Um, we just we just know how important it is to maintain the ball, and those guys are doing a great job. I mean, they work. Everybody knows it, um, but you know it's just the margins that we need to eliminate to win these win these tight games. But um, you know, I don't I, I don't know about, but we just gotta we just gotta keep warming, and as a team as a team, uh, just keep trying to eliminate that. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, no problem.